the couple of things I want to make a decision that, that you want to get your feedback is regarding how tall the tree should be, the, what would be the right front, uh, and which branches I want to keep. And it seems that the tree, in the way that it's planted right now, it goes, it's kind of, it's going back, so when I see you, I can bring it forward, so, I mean, uh, I kind of, yeah, those are kind of main things. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of things going on with the tree. You know, the lowest branch that you have wired, a lot of people would just cut it off right there and make the tree more compacted. Um, but after reviewing the photos and seeing it now, uh, can you turn the tree a little bit one way or the other just so I can see the curve a little better? Yeah. So yeah, based on the way the tree curves, you can use the whole trunk line and keep it as a taller tree without losing half of it, because I think that that would be an easy way out. So utilizing most of the branches, except maybe the very top one, I think would be the best course of action. So can you turn it back to the front that you like so far? Um, yeah, it's basically, that's, yeah. So the tree definitely needs to be tilt, lifted up on the right-hand side. And then in the back of it, you know, the, yeah, it needs to be leaned forward too. Okay. Oh, and then the right-hand side, your right-hand side, would need to be lifted up another you know, three to four inches. Yeah, something like that. And the front of the tree would actually be like rotating it counterclockwise about another 10 degrees or so to where the dead would, yeah, maybe a hair more. Yeah. That to me is a great trunk line and you still see most of the curves and a lot of the dead wood. Uh, but then on the very top of the tree, uh, top half of the tree, the long branch in the middle, that'll need to be bent a number of ways to put it back about where the foliage is now, but about four inches higher, six inches higher. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, you're gonna have to raffia that whole top like basically the whole trunk from above where that junction is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, below that even. Um, yeah, that'll need to be raffia, basically raffia run to the very top of the tree and that long branch in the middle of the tree. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have raffia all the way to here? Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then that branch will be bent down and to the left, like behind the trunk, and then swept back forward so that, you know, basically you'd be able to raise the canopy height of that branch up about a foot from where it is now. So it'd be back in, yep, back in a way, almost like a big music cliff. Okay. And then the foliage at the end, you would bend the branch up into the back of the tree again and then lift the branches up. Okay, so, yeah. this up, and then, so, so where the tips are going to end up, right? Like here? A little higher, yep. Okay. And then the big branch that you've got your right hand on, you would drop that down, uh, most likely with more raffia binding it to the main trunk and another okay. piece of heavy wire, or even if it, if it felt like it would bend down, I'd like that branch to bend down a fair amount and then the, the center mass of the trunk to be kicked over to one side uh, towards you. So you can see the junction of the branches and it doesn't come straight out of the viewer. But the front for the bottom half of the tree, which is gonna be the hardest part to change, okay. looks And then the very top part of the tree, uh, above that branch that's the really long one, like all that up there, uh -huh. that branch would then become part of the apex of the tree too, or it would just be cut off. But I'd like to try to salvage it. You're probably not going to be able to keep the very tip-top part, 
but like the highest branch, mm-hmm. uh, just because there's a lot of dead branches in between that and the next junction down. Uh, but I feel like that uh, the little tuft of three branches at about eye level with you, uh, you could definitely swing that uh, around to become the apex of the tree. So based on the front choice, I would say the top third of the trunk line needs to be moved back a few inches. So it'd be great if there was a way to bend that uh, or set up a guy wire or some really heavy copper to bend that away from the viewer about three to four inches, yeah. Okay. Yeah, from about where your uh, hand just was, yeah, where your thumb is, somewhere okay. between there and the middle of that secondary branch is where the bend would need to be. Okay. In this section. Right. Okay. And I think with a really, really strong guy wire and potentially some, you know, help from some metal on the front end to push it, you could lock it in place and leave it there by anchoring it to some of those gins in the middle of the tree. Okay. The branch that you already have, Raffi. Okay. 